We're trying everything in the February 2022 Keto Crate right after this. Hey guys, welcome to Smash the Crate, the monthly series where myself, along with my mother and my husband, try every item in this month's Keto Crate. Um, do you know they're running a special right now? Mm. If you use the link in the description box below, you will not only get a discount on your very first Keto Crate, you get a second one for free. February is uh, BOGO. Thank you. Okay. February is BOGO. But you could always stick around to the end to like see if you won the Keto Crate. Oh, wow. Which don't get me wrong, like that would be great if you did. Good for you. But don't leave it to chance. Get the Keto Crate, crate now. Yeah. You know what I'm talking yes. about? Because not only that, wait till y'all see what's in this Keto Crate. First of all, after I did the unboxing, I was just like, were there any savory items at all? Or are they all sweet items? And then secondly, I was like, okay, there were some savories, but sadly, there are no meat sticks. Again. Again. I'm writing keto crates. <laughs> mm. You're gonna get a very stern letter. I am so. From the whack community. No, just you. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> Joe from 2KK, yeah. he notices what's No, there. absolutely hey, not. Wow. Okay, so let's hop Thank right you. in. I mean, so many great things yeah. that we know that we love. And then so many like, well, what is Yes, like let's go. Okay, number one, we're not gonna try these. These are zero calorie skinnies cocktail mixers. Ooh. So first of all, none of us are really drinkers, you know, but apparently you what just mix it? this with um, vodka and club soda. Okay. So it's like a vodka so cranberry. Like uh, yes, it's like a packet. It's like a crystal oh, okay. light, that's what I said, you know? Um, oh, and so you make like a vodka wow. cranberry. So directions, one shot of vodka, four ounces of club soda, and then one packet, and you got your hey, vodka cranberry. Because remember, go. cranberry sauce is, uh, sauce, cranberry <laughs> juice <laughs> is very high like in sugar. And yeah. so a lot right. of our, right. a lot of the mixed drinks we can't have anymore. So yeah, this is right. this is really neat oh, to have like God. a keto friendly, you know, mix in so option. Yeah. yeah, so but we don't, we ain't got no club soda. Yeah. We ain't got no vodka. That would be a very dangerous keto crate about <laughs> If we drank first. <laughs> <laughs> that would be fun. Would be One fun. shot for each tier. You know, like, let's go. Okay. Here we go. And as we, you know, don't forget, while we're speaking about our tier system, we have a four-tier system, right? Starting from the, the top, I guess, and going to the bottom. Tier 1 absolute the best we love it we give it a first place we we would or have bought it with our own money mm -hmm. tier two you know what that was really good like i wouldn't necessarily buy it but if someone sent me that for free or it came in the keto crate yeah. i'd be glad yeah. to see it yeah. tier three ah well, these aren't really my favorite but like i'm not throwing them away yeah. like i'll put them in the snack drawer and yeah. they might stay there and yeah. almost yeah. expire yeah. but like i'm gonna keep them right yeah. Then tier four is like, I don't like this. I would not okay. accept it for free. It is nasty and I just don't yeah, want it, yeah, you know? Yeah. And that's gotta be crazy because we'll, we'll tier three about anything, exactly. right? You know, but if it's truly, I do not like this. Yes, yes. That's a tier four, right? But at the same time, that's just our taste. Yes, you know, the right. beautiful thing about the keto crate and about this keto community mm -hmm. in general is that we all have different yeah, tastes. What, what might be a tier four for me could be a tier one for oh, you, yeah. right? That's so keep that in mind. Sure. When we're talking about whether or not we love or dislike things, you have to keep your own taste in mind, yes. right? Okay, so I'm let's dive in. Dive okay, in. oh, look what they did. Whoa, bags on top of I know, oh. look what they did though, look. High low life. Aww. They have cheddar puffs and fiery oh, hot there's puffs. There's two high lows in There's the two high lows, right? They did a oh, two wow. for it, right? And they so had a bogo. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so like it's like we get the, the cheese puff yeah. and then we get the flaming yeah. hot, the fiery so, hot. I knew that my mom would love the fiery hot. Okay. So what? We're, we're gonna start I know, right? I was gonna say no she's <laughs> that That's literally the opposite. We're gonna thing. start yeah. with the Oh, you know, we're gonna way, start with the, the puffs. The okay. scolometer is is once it hits 0.1%, okay. it's too bad. Okay, so first of all, the first thing I'm noticing is that they have collapsed a little bit. Like they're kind of they're kind of the wrinkly. Whereas like a regular Cheeto is mm. like it's, it's uniform. Like, uh, the puffy and the crunchy mm. mixed together. Yeah, but here is a uh, here's a perfect like the here's and a, the crunchy here's together. a perfect one right mm. here. Right, this like is a, just like the perfect little mm, arc. Right. You know. Um, okay, but I mean we're still gonna eat them. All. Let's go. Yes, we are. Mm. No, they just melt right up, don't they? Okay. I don't remember the last time I've had a puffy yeah, just melt Cheeto, up. but I don't know if they're supposed to like disintegrate in your mouth mm -hmm. like that, but mm, a I don't bit. 
I don't mind that. that much. There's no crunch. Right. There's no. Yeah. I mean, that melts. It's like that other kind of popcorn puff. That's that exactly that what it is. In your mouth. It is that popcorn puff yeah. that melts. I don't know what brand that is. Yeah. I think everybody makes it depending yeah. on that's exactly what, what the local is. grocery you have. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that is okay. exactly what that is. Yeah, no. So the flavor is a little fainter right. than yeah. I thought. It's not, it's not punch. It, it is, and it's definitely not, not that like leaves make your fingers. Yes. Yeah, yes. orange. Yes. I mean that's good though. That's pleasant. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna say two. I got a two on that one. Yeah. yeah. That's a, that's a tier two. Yeah. I go two. It's yeah. a solid two for yeah. me as well. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, way to way to go. This is a two. Um. I think I would prefer like a crunchy, like better, yeah, like more I don't crunch. know. Just a little bit. Just a but, little I mean, bit. But that's an interesting sensation, especially if you like that popcorn that melts yeah. in your mouth. I mean, that's exactly what yeah, this I is. I think that crunch is what kept it and, from being and warm. And the flavor is really, um, it's good. It's definitely not as strong as a typical like yeah. Cheeto chip right. flavor, but the flavor is good, yeah. the cheddar mm-hmm. cheese flavor. That is all Okay. Fruit. You're now we're going so to try true. the hot Ooh. version, oh which honestly, if it's, if it's as faint as the other one, I mean, it might not I mean, be that bad. That okay still is that. too much for, I know, right? for the missus okay. over there. Nice. I know, she can't hear. You want her? Want give me one of those. I like, that. That. I like the Richard yeah. of the chocolate. That just I'll Richard of the... I'll take her. Okay, spicy. so these are clearly, like, notably darker. Yes. I mean, these are kind of what the, the regular ones look like. You know, yeah. those were lighter in hue. This is actually closer because, honestly, Flamin' Hot Cheetos and Flamin' they were red. Like, those those are those are really fire really engine red. Yeah, okay, let's go. These are crunchy. Mm-hmm, they are. They're definitely crunchier than those. Mm-hmm. The cheddar. I mean, you have to chew. Oh, oh yeah. Lord. Oh yeah. There it comes. <laughs> no. Mm. No. The check on the one over there. Mm-hmm. I think her mouth was literally on fire. Oh my great. Those are great. Oh, I mean, well. Mm. <laughs> oh, I need that it's like a milk or a. No, it's, it's not that bad. Oh. No. Yes. Oh my God. Okay, so the first way, of all, her personal scoble meter is the the texture is crunchier. You actually yeah. have to chew oh, to get God. through those. Whoa! Oh goodness! Ooh. We're the phone there. Look at her face. She's about to cry. We gotta call her. Oh. We gotta call her ambulance. Ooh. Oh my God, the ambulance. Oh. I mean. They're spicy, so good for them. Like, they are spicy. They're nowhere near that oh, dramatic. I'm sweating over yeah. here. Oh, my God. But did you like the texture? Yeah, the, yeah, the texture knew. was... It was actually <laughs> From crunchy. what I remember, yes. when, she, when, when, she I, when, when I regained yeah, consciousness... <laughs> um, so, yeah. I mean, still, those are a tier Ooh. two for me. But yeah, they, geez. I mean, but the flavor is really, really okay. good. Yes. And if you're missing like spicy chips, I mean, yeah. here it is. I would yeah. say the crunch spicy that puffs. Would, it would make it a little bit better than like a yeah. tier one point eight or yeah. something, oh, just God. because of the more crunch than the. But traditional. I would also say though, as with most protein puffs, there is like a flavor cliff. There is a point where all the flavoring is gone, but you still have something to chew and or swallow. Oh, you know, like and so that flavor cliff. Yeah, that's what Matt from Keto Connect, that's what he called it. There's like a flavor, like it, there's the flavor of it, then it's just gone, but you still have to chew and swallow the protein puff, right? It's not bad. I mean, I've come to expect that. Those are those are great. Those are actually yep. just really I good. Mean, what they said. Yeah. So Ooh. if if you're missing like savory type chip type snacks like that, I think that's a, that's a great option. Crunch was great. Yeah. And that's all I have to say about that. Okay. Next. Look at these, Richard. Scrummy gummies. Oh, wow. They're gummy yeah. bears. My yeah. husband no. loves candy. And so I'm excited about these. Granted, you remember? I was like, I so bet these we, have 40 we, grams well, savory of... Savory is done. Yeah, now, savory right? is done. I mean, literally, literally, yeah, savory is done. Gummy to back to, to something, chocolate no. or back to something. No, no. We're doing... Cheesy. No, we're doing savory, gummy, chocolate. Okay, I mean, the majority of everything happening in here is chocolate. So but you know I don't mind. It, so it was, two, you know, two that's poops. what I said. Epif- oh, my God, the smell. Oh, my God, it's candy. Um, But... When I first opened the Keto Crate, I was like, I want there to be Valentine's Day themed thing. There's not, but I forgot. But it's so good, I don't care. Exactly. Like the chocolate. The whole, chocolate. yeah, chocolate. I mean, right. oh, right. wow. Sweet. These Here look goes. like, okay. This one. one. Okay. One of those. Okay. So where's the other ones? There's supposed to be green ones in here or something. Oh, Lord they're Jesus. all like, okay. they're all a shade of yellow Just... and or red. There are no green ones in here, but that's okay. Okay, but they look. And they feel like their traditional yeah, gummy they bear. Do. They look just like it. Okay. I have to agree. Let's go. Oh, it's a bear. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Immediately. 
Haribo chew. That's exactly what I need. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. I think that was lemon. Either way, the flavor doesn't matter, right? No one ever gets gummy bears trying to be like, what? which one of these is watermelon? Like, you don't care. They're just gummy and well, delicious. You taste the fruitiness. Yes, you exactly. You can't yes. spot on what the heck the fruitiness is. You don't have to is. identify yeah. exactly which one it is. I want to put these back yeah, in there. That's good, though. Mm. I'm not much of a fan on that type of sweet candy. So, mm. I mean, I couldn't give a, you know, my whole thing assessment. Is, my whole thing is, if you like gummy bears, I feel like that's a tier one. Oh. Like that—that that is delicious and everything you need out of a true, mm -hmm. like sugared gummy bear. Now I haven't really tried them, but I think things like that spike your blood sugar because it, yeah. it is—it's just yeah. syrup. Like it's just you know whether it's sugar free or mm -hmm. not. So I remember trying some smart sweets a long time ago and they spiked my blood sugar really hot, right? Yeah. And so I'm just like, is it worth it? Like, are, are those no better than regular sugar gummy bears? Yeah, you know, I don't know the answer to that, that, right? That's a whole different argument. But yeah. if you are going to, if you're getting rid of sugar, that's delicious. I mean, it's exactly what yeah. you want yeah. out of a gummy bear. I agree. Tier one. Uh, okay, next we have legendary foods, cake style toaster pastries. Mm -hmm. Remember, I liked the regular, like the thin one, oh, the Pop Tart yes. esque ones. Yes. These are not that. So you yeah, said that you the, like the, the cake style. You said that you like the Pop Tart oh, kind that. better. I, I like both of these. I actually prefer the cake style. No, that's not. They're different. I love both of them. <laughs> I, I wish they made both of them. Bottom line, right. yeah, you know. I, mean, I do as well. I don't think you should have to choose, but I do mm -hmm. like both of them. You no. Know? I just okay, think yeah, because look at that. It's too much cake. Yeah. Look at that. It's that's not a that's not a pop tart. That's not. It's, I mean, it's cake. It's almost the size of a toaster strudel. Oh, that's Maybe what that's thought. what they're trying right, to do. That's what I thought when I, I saw it. I said this is a toaster strudel. But I mean, toaster strudels that thick. Yeah, but I mean, at the same time, toaster strudels are like flakier yeah. and like right. pastry or I don't know. It kind of looks. Either way, this like is the cinnamon strudel. one. And I am going to like it, but it is it, it okay? is a difference. I, break it. I know you kind of have to cut it. You kind of have to cut it because it is. That's how thick that's it what is. I'm saying. Like, it's not she a... thickety thick thick yeah. thickety thick. Here you go. But you can clearly see. You can clearly see like the um. The cake. No, the oh. brown sugar, the cinnamon brown sugar like oh, yes. swirl thing you in the middle. Okay, that. let's try. Mmm. It's so doughy, so wow. chewy, but I love that. I love that. Mmm. Oh, it's really good. The flavor? That's never going to mm. be an issue. The flavor is fine. I just prefer the the thin version better. What? Yeah, yeah I mean, I honestly do. Well, so good. As a person who enjoys mm. and fruit, the cinnamon flavor. fruit more, I used to get the little fruit. Yeah. It was so thin, like the fruit was like 50 50 ratio yeah. to the dough. Like, I mean, there's like clearly, you can see, like there's tens clearly. 90% ratio. You can clearly, I'm going to cover his face. Clearly, there's more dough on the top and bottom than there is filling in the mm -hmm. middle. But to me, that is but delicious. It's good tasting though. I mean, it almost it's tastes tasting. like a cinnamon roll. Like, okay, you know, right, like right. it's like more dough. There you go. And then the there filling you is go. not, you know. Well, but that's delicious. Style. Look, that is a tier one for me. Uh, tier. Uh, two ish. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Even lower. Go, God, I love yeah, that. I would go two. tier. I would go two. tier one. I love bought it them before. so much. Like, again, legendary foods. Yes. I Honestly, love the thinner one. In Vegas, I kept walking past. I was just like, wonderful. ooh, because they had all the different flavors. I was like, mm -hmm. ooh, I'll take the strawberry. Ooh, I'll take the cake style. Yes. Ooh, I'll take the cinnamon. Ooh, yay! Ah. Oh, I was eating them oh, too. Man. Yeah, but I mean, they. Ooh, I love those. That's a tier one for me. Right. So next, remember another yeah, keto bar. Are. This is birthday cake. Oh, so geez. last month it was salted caramel. This month it's birthday cake. So it's a fair I want to do Costco cake. Let's <laughs> they say absolutely not. So this Ooh, looks pretty. exactly like the other one. Remember, Man, it looks kind of like a zero bar, mm -hmm. which is what exactly what we said last time because it, was, it looks exactly it like the other one, tea. which is my favorite. Uh, and it's standard American diet candy. That's your favorite one? Oh, zero candy. Yeah. Uh -huh. I used to have them growing up. Okay. Mm -hmm. Grab a different. piece. I love the. Okay. I just, I just like being different. Okay. Zero so, different. I don't know if you can see, but apparently there are sprinkles on the inside, like little sprinklets. Oh, do you see that, Richard? Right. You see it? I do see the sprinkles. There's some sprinkles like over here. Yeah, it's like oh, barely sort of situation. Hand. Okay, I see. There we are. Okay, yeah. Oh, okay. It's on All right. Backside. Oh, it's on his backside. Oh, backside. All right. His backside. Okay, let's go. Definitely smells it. Mm -hmm. I smell birthday cake. Like a maple type of flavoring. If I'm being honest, 
it tastes a lot like the other one. It tastes just like the other <laughs> It tastes a lot what like salted one? caramel. Yeah. Not sure if I can call it birthday cake. We sprayed some birthday cake smell. On top but, of but, it. but I can tell you this. I don't taste that alcohol that I, that I tasted last time, right? Ooh, it's like a more muted good. flavor, but birthday cake it is not. I don't know. Very sweet flavor. It smells it. I mean, it's just a very <laughs> sweet flavor. I mean, it's it's good. That's a tier two, yes. hands two down. Tier two. I would eat that. I would love it. I wouldn't care what the flavor was called. Mm -hmm. It tastes good, but I don't know if that's a birthday cake. Mm, there you go. Yeah. What would you What would you say, Richard? I would definitely say it's a tier two as well. Yeah, tier, tier two, two across the board. Yeah, like you said, it's not really. Way to go, genius good, gourmet! But but it smells it. I mean, and it tastes good. Like if yeah. you're just like, I want a sweet. Yes, it's very sweet. White chocolatey thing. Yes, that's very delicious. Sweet. Next. Ooh snap! Okay. Oh, Next, keto wise chocolate peanut butter blast. You guys remember these? Oh, these are like I think the we had it. Yeah, we had it like last month. Very. I love those. Delicious, very stretchy, very pulley, but also had some ingredients that we were yeah, just, I was just like. Yeah, going to say, isn't that the one that's like keto-ish? Yeah. Oh my gosh, <laughs> oh, but wow. look at the peanut. Look I mean, that peanut that's... butter hey, blast. Dang, what are you doing? I mean, Why haven't you that... invented this yet? Yeah, but see, look at that. Look at the stretch. It's because of all the fibers, right? It's because of all the fibers in there. Okay. This looks like I'm going to enjoy it. Yeah, I mean, just very caramelly. Very, oh, God, it's falling oh, no. apart. It's falling Lost apart. Oh, my Stop shaking your chest. I didn't mean to. It was <laughs> Listen, you calm down. Okay, here it is. All right, let's go. Mm -hmm. Before I drop any more. Mm. It's so chewy. Hmm. It really is. Mm. I don't get to chew so much. Like I said, nougaty. Flavor wise, I mean that's a tier one, tier yeah. two is sort of thing, right? I mean that's delicious. Mm -hmm. I would, I would like ingredient wise, tier three ish, mm -hmm. you know. But once again, everyone's like blood sugar is different. Everyone, you know, what what how food affects them is different. Yeah. But like taste, like in terms of peanut butter, peanuts, and chocolate. It's spot one. on. I mean, the whole the peanut the peanut halves themselves are just delicious. Yeah, Absolutely. I have to agree. Yeah. So that I mean that is delicious. Mm -hmm. mm. Thank you, keto wise. Yeah, I would Thank definitely you. say tier one for taste and flavor, yes. and tier yeah. three for ingredients. Yep. Yep. Because mm. it's good. Continuing on, we have shrewd food keto dippers. Like these are just those protein puffs coated, yeah, coated in that chocolate. We definitely have them before. I mean, it could be like one or two months ago, but guess what? They were delicious, so I'm glad to have them again. I remember. I feel like there was a there was a little slit at the right in the middle. Is it no? Is it on the side? I see it. I can see a hole right there. Well, that's where like the little. Oh, well, in the next keto crate, yes. we will try these. Really? <laughs> okay, I got it. I got it. That was it. the meme. I didn't make Ooh. that. Yay! Oh. Success. We can't reuse that packaging. I know, can't. right? Okay. We talked about these are matte. Mm -hmm. They've clearly been set flat to, like, come to temp or to mm -hmm. dry or whatever, but they're delicious. Let's go. Mm -hmm. oh. Very crunchy. Yep. Nope. Like a Taco Bell popcorn or something like a mm -hmm. one of them things. Um, mm. you know, red square box. Nigga, a nice... on popcorn or caramel. Cracker Jacks! I love the chocolate coating. I a little bitterness to it. Yeah. I love the crunchiness of it. Mm. Like, if all the Very chocolate crunchy. melts, it gets kind of dry, you know? But, I mean, that's good. That's a tier two. I'll give it a tier two. I don't know what mm -hmm. I gave it last time, but... That's a tier two. Like, I, I really, really enjoy those. Don't know if it would, like, be the t sort of dessert I need to buy. Oh, I'm a 1.5 mm -hmm. there. It's like, a, I think it's a little step above a two. No, yeah. I mean, it's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's just, I'll I don't know. two. I'm yeah. a solid two. Those were good. Huh. Yeah. With all the points you said. Yeah. Also, speaking of shrewd food, look what else they have, right? What? Keto what? crack. Oh, my God. It's a milk chocolate bar, so like clearly, a clearly like a it's like a Nestle Crunch bar, exactly. Crunch but it's made by keto, by Shrewd Food, and nice. I can tell because I was like, "That's the Shrewd Foods keto, yeah, right?" And so yeah, e. it is the same E. What? And it's the same blue. I didn't realize. Exactly. Like, yes, it's all Shrewd Food. Oh, shrewd okay. Is very shrewd it looks like a Nestle's Crunch. Oh, it does look like a Nestle's Crunch bar. Uh, Nestle's crack. It, it, <laughs> it has uh, Shrewd on the front. Can you see that? Yeah, and then the back of it is just Nestle those. 
those crunchy. Yeah, the, the crunchy bits. So Not crunchy bits. Here you go. And the bar itself breaks up into like four oh, squares. Right. So that's pretty neat. That's that is nice. Okay. It's a shrewd on the thing. Let's go. Perfect. <laughs> I mean, it was great. That's it. Okay. Oh, that's a one with a bullet. Do you know what I think it is? It's the fact that the little protein nuggets are so small. You know? Mm -hmm. When you have a big center like that, you know? It's just like, it, maybe there's too much protein to chocolate, mm. but the nuggets are so small. You can, ha you can have that if you want. Mm. I mean, this is spot on. The it's nuggets are so small that like, you can't even tell that, the, you can't tell that these ain't Rice Krispies. You know what I'm talking about? I like, mean, that's literally what a Nestle's Crunchy is. I know, that's what I'm saying. Spot mm. on. Yeah, this is perfect. I think we got a Nestle's Crack Bar. Man, mm -hmm. two of them. Perfect. Mm. I'm going to, I mean, 0.5. <laughs> Less than a one. Mm -hmm. Um, like you don't have to think, you don't have to stretch, you don't have to like. Eh, I bet if you turn your head sideways, it could be a Nestle's Crunch. I mean, that is a chocolate crispy bar. Mm -hmm. Let's not forget about Hershey's Crackle, right? Okay. Oh, yeah, That's you're right. All right. So it could be, but that was just that was oh. delicious. Tier one. Oh, yes, yeah, definitely. Woo. Okay. Penultimately, your favorite company, oh. Ross Chocolates. Ca. Yes. Uh -oh. Ross yes. Chocolates. Okay. Ross but these yeah. are dark chocolate thins. Right. So dark, I'm a fan of dark chocolate. I like dark chocolate. Sometimes it can be. Wrapped. No, they're not individually wrapped, but they're they're little squares. Uh -oh. That's what I love about Ross Ross Chocolate. Ca is that they're their own little. Really squares. You don't like about this? I mean, I feel a little like a little bougie, like no, elegant. Yeah, it's this like a, elegant. Like you could put this on the side of like tea or something. Yeah, you know, just like tea and a chocolate. And you square. see those you there. see those commercials when the, when the girls sitting there cuddle up with the coffee or they mm -hmm. have time and they just One bite the little, little tip. It's like. That's all you need. Okay, but you tried it already. Like you, you already bit into it, and we haven't decided to. Oh, cut, redo. <sighs> okay, and let's go. Ross Chocolates. Go. I love the snap. Mm -hmm. I love the crackle. And I love the crunch. And See? Then Come on, Autumn. Let's do something with this guy. That's delicious. That's dark chocolate. It is. It's. I mean, and it's not bitter. It has just. It's not super sweet. bitter. I mean, it is. It is more bitter than milk chocolate. No, oh, but God, of course, no. yeah, chocolate. Mm -hmm. But it's not. No. It has a good amount of sweetness. It does have a good it. amount of sweetness to it. I that agree. is. That is great. Ross chocolates. Dot Dot C C this particular flavor is a tier two. Like I said, like yes. dark chocolate is just not my jam. Um, but all their other flavors, like their milk chocolate, the milk chocolate with hazelnut, like all the other mm -hmm. flavors they have. Are delicious. Amazing. Yeah, so rosschocolates.ca is a great company. Um, okay, finally, you guys, Chalk Zero. Oh. Double dipped almond, right? Here we have go. we ever Chalk been Zero. have we ever been so excited to see something again that we've already seen, you know? Yes. So <clears throat> these are absolutely delicious. Oh I remember gosh. they came in like two oh, little individual wraps. Oh my gosh. I think they changed the packaging because last did. time they were clear. Yeah. They were. Like they were, you got, but they still came in little sets exactly. of two, which yeah. were so cute. Little nuggets. Yeah, so it comes oh, in a pack of two. Like little bird eggs. Yeah, type yes, with they do. Situation yeah. as you say. Like, like little quail eggs. Yeah, yes. little bird eggs. Okay. So yeah, they come in little sets of two. I'll do it, Richard. Hold it up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> in the package? <laughs> Way to go, Richard. But I mean, these are just I primed think, to just roll yeah, off. I, I was going to mess that up. Oh, okay. Let's go. No in advance, I was going to mess that up. Mm. That's nice. Almond joy. Mm-hmm. You have the chocolate? Mm. Man. You have, have the coconut? Dip. You have the almond in the middle? Mm-hmm. Mm. It's chewy. Like, the coconut layer is that, like, Soft, sweet, mm -hmm. coconut. Exactly. Mm. The Damn. almond's so country? Country. <laughs> the almond is country. The Talk almond is rock and roll. Country, rock and roll. The oh. almond's so crunchy. Mm -hmm. Like, in, outside of the soft truck. layer. Um, I mean, this is like a point one. I mean, yeah. That's as close to a zero. <laughs> <laughs> a chalk zero. Yes, exactly. That is a chalk zero. Yeah. Like, so, yeah, that's tier one. Would buy yes. these. I mean, They're they are just perfect. delicious. If you like chocolate, okay. if you like almonds, if you like uh, coconut. I mean, yes. and, and like yes. you don't want to think. And you don't want to have to make right. anything. And you don't want to have to, like... I mean, these and are just such a great aftertaste, too. Yes. I mean, it just... It tastes yeah. like candy. Yes. So, because yes. it is... 
candy, uh, right? Really? Tastes like candy. Mm, I, can I can feel, feel it when, when you walk. walk. Even, Even when, when you talk, it takes over me. Oh it's like God. candy. Okay, okay. Oh okay. We're back. Um, okay, so this keto crate was very oh, chocolatey. Yes. Really? Like really? lots of chocolate. Uh, you ain't never, you ain't never got to tell me about no chocolate. That's but what like I'm saying. Do you know who I want to know like what they think about all this chocolate in the keto crate? The person that won this month's keto crate. Yeah, no, that person is. Oh my god. Look at you. You won this keto crate. But once again, guys, so go ahead and email me, watchautumnketo at gmail.com, right? But if you didn't win, we're all winners this month because it's a BOGO. It's a BOGO, right? So use the link in the description to get you not one, but two keto crates. You know? Um, yeah, I mean. This was delicious. This was a winner. I know this year we're not holding them up like the best ones, but if we yeah, were, she, yeah, she still is holding means. things up. But like, here's the thing: like new products, oh, new, yes, which from companies that we know that we already love. Yes. We have products from companies we've never, never heard, heard of before. Thank you. You know, companies. We have items from items that we've already tried from brands that we know we love, right? Ross Chocolates. Oh, CA, right? Like overall, I just love. I just yeah. love the keto you know, crate. Yeah, amazing. definitely. Use the link in the description to pick up your own. Okay, guys. Happy well, three. this was this was a good one, and we'll see you next month. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>